Hey there, everyone. It's Joe from Ainsley's Gold Silver Standard Insights, brought to you by goldsilverstandard.com and ainsleybullion.com.au. It's TA Tuesday, where I do a quick bit of price analysis on gold, silver, and a couple of other things too. Today, I'll take a quick look at platinum again, and also take a very, very quick look at Dogecoin. So uh, what we do here is do some very quick price analysis using very simple techniques, trend line analysis, support and resistance lines, uh, relative strength index, and sometimes a couple of other things. If you have your own indicators that you like to work with that I don't use, post a comment below and let me know your thoughts and maybe I will integrate them into my price analysis. So here we are gold on the monthly time frame it's priced in us dollars as we always do 1750 let's call it us dollars let's see where we've come in the last week i think i'm going to entitle this video something along the lines of more of the same something like that let's pop into the daily gonna be a very quick video same as last week really really quick we're still just skirting in no man's land as i titled last week's video and i'll put a link above to that right now just in between this range and in the last couple of days we have hit this last few days that 17 20 level so just right in between this range of my support and resistance lines which funnily enough i've have i have had uh drawn in for quite some time i haven't been moving them about to uh, match what's happening just recently they just happen to be hitting there i think they're pretty obvious support and resistance lines when you go back and have a look at them so the top here so far, $1,790, and we have hit that support level, which is good to see. That was on Wednesday, so it was the day after uh, my last analysis. So we did have that support level, and I did say we wanted to keep this as support in order to be confident that we are not going to see lower prices. So, so far, a nice little bounce. So... Again, just more of the same at the moment, same as last week in no man's land. Uh, currently, if we look at the relative strength index, I will point out that on the daily time frame, it is starting to head down. That doesn't mean it's going to head all the way into oversold, and that just means we start heading all the way down here. But it could find some support. And if I was looking for support on the relative strength index, let me have a quick look here. I think you could find it comfortably around, yeah, can you see that? Can you see that right there and there and there are a few points. So I think we could easily, if we're if the general trend is up, you could see a support in the relative strength index on the daily time frame again. So take all that into account at around about here at about your sort of 48 to 50, your sort of halfway point. So again, heading down doesn't mean it's always going to go all the way back down. As you can see, it doesn't always go all the way back up. Sometimes it ranges in between before going to extremely overbought or extremely oversold. So just bear that in mind. So it doesn't mean we're definitely heading down, but just notice the direction currently is heading down. Uh, but uh, that is it really for gold. That's it's really all I can say. Just more of the same at the moment. As I said last week, I want to see it break above and hold this level of $1,800, $1,800, call it $1,810, I think technically right there. I want to see it break above and hold as support this level right here of $1,810 uh, and breaking down below here. Uh, I'm definitely going to be saying, whoa, let's get a little cautious. If it breaks below this $1,700 level, then I'm going to be saying, yeah, quite possibly uh, heading down further. Uh, so that is gold. I've got my targets moving higher. There's my resistance points moving higher and my targets moving lower as my support levels. I won't do the crazy ones up and the crazy ones down just yet because again, we're just in no man's land. More of the same for this week. As I said, really, really quick, quick. So silver, similar thing. Let's see where we are bottomed out at here. So that was on Monday. So we had broken down already through that uh, $20.90 level. And I had been talking about just these couple of levels right here, the $22 to $22.50 level, and this level here again of $20.90. It has so far acted as support. Let's pop it onto the four hourly. Yep, still support around that kind of level. So again, same thing, just more of the same this week. I know it's a little bit boring uh, at the moment, but we are trending upwards at least. Uh, right now we're having a green candle hour right there. Let's go back to the daily. We're having a green day so far. Yeah, so far a green day. Uh, but I would want to see it 
break above here. Can you see that little point right there of $22.30? I would want to see it break above and hold that as support uh, to suggest we might be breaking through this level of $22 to $20. Uh, 20, 22 to $22.50 right there in US dollar terms. Pretty much it for silver, uh, more of the same. So let's take a look again with the relative strength index. Similar thing, it is trending down, but again, you could find a support level and that support level I think would be, and again, I do a lot of this on the fly, so bear with me. Oh, that's really easy. Can you see that? Look at that there, level of support, level of resistance, level of support so right there oh what do you know <laughs> there you go so around about your 48 to 50 uh, halfway mark on the relative strength index so could definitely easily see a bounce off and heading up higher doesn't mean it's going to have it doesn't have to go into completely oversold so still looking uh, positive so my calls for the last couple of weeks have been that both gold and silver uh, there's an 80% chance that the bottom is in and there's nothing yet that has contradicted that. I've been talking about this level of $19.40. If I do not see that hold as support and it breaks down to here, ooh, I'm getting concerned. If we come down to this 1880 level, I'm going to start to get concerned uh, about that. But uh, so far, so good. So just in a range bound couple of weeks, no man's land. Uh, my target's moving higher. Hit the pause button to find out what those are. And there are my targets moving lower. That is silver. Let's go to XPT. Ooh, look at this. Nice. Let's pop that on the... There we go. We've got them right there. Nice. Okay. So a nice little couple of up days for platinum. We did bottom out. This was... We had bottomed out last Monday at the $970 level, which had come down to this support level right there. Uh, it did not meet this support level. Uh, yet maybe I think that might be time to get rid of that one. I think I will because it doesn't seem to align with any other areas right here. Uh, but it looks like we are making another play. <sighs> another play for this um, big downtrend line. If you're new to my videos, just very quickly right here. Once it the lag, too much lag. Uh, right here, the huge downtrend line from February or March, February of 2008. See that? very very many 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 years and then just recently since uh december january december 2020 january 2021 it made its first play within since 2008 it made its first play it was a failed breakout to hold and then it was a fast move to the downside another failed move to break out and hold that is it did break up it didn't hold fast move to the downside just recently in the last a uh, few weeks, another breakout, but then a failed attempt to hold that. And look at this, we're coming up to a, an apex right there. Can you see this uh, trend line right here, this sort of uh, ascending triangle? If you can see that. So we're coming up to this area here, which tells me uh, that it's going to break very, very soon. What you find with uh, trying with uh, doing trend lines and you know triangles symmetrical triangles ascending descending triangles it never gets to the very apex the very corner of uh, the angle if that makes sense of the corner of the triangle before making a decision so it won't happen here on what's that technically if you look down here it's what 16th of December it's going to happen really really soon in the next I would say week if we're on the daily time frame what's that so the 30th I would say by the 8th of December, roughly, by the close of next week, a decision will have been made and it could happen in the next couple of days, but uh, we're definitely going to see a break either above or below. It's going to happen. It has to. And my bet for the moment, um, I'm going to stick with gold and silver. So saying that platinum's 80% bottom in as well. So I'm going to say more likely that we break above rather than break below. The question becomes, if we break above, is it going to hold this time? We really need to hold this downtrend line, this giant one from March, February of 2008. If we hold break above, hold that and then bounce off, then I tell you what, then it's off to the races in my humble opinion in platinum and the next resistance level for me, if that occurs. So if we see a break above and then a hold 
and then a bounce off there. Oh, mate, we are up to the next resistance level. It's around about $1,200 in my humble opinion. Now, uh, again, I think there's an 80% chance that that's uh, likely uh, to happen at this stage, but don't take anything I say with, uh, you know, as financial advice. And it's of course of not the financial advice of Ainsley itself. Uh, but I have my targets moving lower right here. You can pause the video. And I have my targets moving higher, but the next big one is at that roughly that $1,200 mark. And let's take a last look, one look, sorry, one look, a quick look, but the last one we're going to do is Dogecoin. Let's see right here. I'm going to do Doge in, I'll do it in BUSD, close enough. So I just want to really quickly show you the weekly time frame. Let's have a quick look here. Um, I don't know if you're in, if you're in the crypto, Great. If you're not, that's totally okay too. Uh, we do skirt. We're both on the fence here at Ainsley. We both do crypto and we do bullion. Bullion for obviously for decades and more recently crypto as well. Uh, you can buy your crypto through Ainsley Wealth, ainsleywealth.com.au. Fully uh, secure um, storage facilities as well. So offline storage, uh, we provide hardware wallets if you want. So there's a lot of ways that you can buy crypto through Ainsley if you don't want to do it yourself. But let's take a quick look at Doge. Obviously, the high back here of 70 cents back in May 2021, a bottoming out here at 50 cents. And then just in the last few weeks, this little top out here at around about 15 cents. And just in the last couple of days, we've had the last couple of weeks, I should say, we've had a couple of more green candles. And let's take a look at the daily. So in the daily, it looks like we may have a little bit more room to head up on the daily. Uh, you can see on the relative strength index, it is trending upwards. Doesn't mean it will go any higher exactly, but it's looking positive uh, at this stage. If you again take a look at the weekly, uh, because we are on Tuesday, so a new week started yesterday. It has been a green weekly candle so far. Again, doesn't mean it's going to continue upwards, but just uh, take that into account. The 200-day moving average has so far uh, held in the last few days. We broke down below. There's a 200-day uh, moving average, and we have not broken below it, so that's positive. And the other thing I'll say, and I think one of the reasons why, maybe you can post a comment below and let me know why you think uh, just in the last uh, few days, in the last seven to ten days, why uh, Doge has gone, gone, you know, crazy, pumped. Uh, but I think it's because of this tweet right here by Mr. Elon Musk. Now, he posted this only a couple of days ago. And this is slides from his recent Twitter company talk. Now, there's a couple of slides that he showed to um, the employees about, you know, the roadmap, what's coming up, uh, etc. And he shared that with uh, Twitter users. And you can follow uh, Ainsley uh, on Twitter at uh, Ainsley Bullion. So follow us there. But check out this last one. So there's that one. There's that one. There's this one of what's coming up in Twitter 2.0. So advertising and entertainment video. Encrypted DMs, long form tweets, relaunch, blue verified. And the last one, payments. And so payments, something to do with payments is coming to Twitter 2.0. And of course, Mr. Elon Musk right here being uh, the Doge father, um, that obviously people put two and two together, or they thought they're putting two, two and two together. And they thought, well, gee, if payments are coming to Twitter, and Elon Musk is a huge um, uh, proponent of Doge, or at least he likes to pump it, he likes to talk about it, then two and two together. And that's why I think Doge has pumped in the last couple of days, uh, at least. So that's that's my reason why. If you have a different reason, uh, let me know. Are you into the crypto? As again, put a, put a comment below. If you hate it, put a comment below. We want to hear from you. Maybe start a, a battle between <laughs> a bullion and crypto people in the YouTube comments. Why not? You know, have some healthy debate. Keep it clean, of course. Keep it respectful. But, you know, uh, go back and forth. We like to hear uh, different points of view. So that is Doge on the daily. Looking good. But um, just uh, bear in mind, of course. Do your own research, not financial advice and all that other stuff. If I was to give some, actually, some quick some quick levels of support, of course, you're going to have a big level of support right here. That's right there at that nine cent mark. We have held that as support on the daily time frame, if you can see uh, right here. There is the 200 day moving average as well, which obviously it moves because it's an average, but you can use that as a, sort of a, a quasi support level. 
and moving down from there I'll just leave that I'll leave that there for now so maybe I'll come back to Doge next week so nine cents would be a support level right there let's see a resistance level on the very very short term time frame if in the next day or two we do see a little bit of higher prices I think you're looking at around about here just to match with this sort of range right there so I'm going to call it at around about your 11 to 12 cents I think is where it would top out in the next couple of days uh, on the weekly time frame let's have a look at the relative strength index as well uh, it had almost gotten into overbought a bit of a dip let's see and a bit look at that interesting oh, I love technical analysis I love it check that out some people say that you can't do support and resistance levels for relative strength index I completely disagree with that because look at that that is a level of support so you can see it right there so those are my targets moving higher and obviously that big one right here so right there at around about 16 cents and you can see that that coincides with this level of support back here in July of 2021 so could we see a double top? Quite possibly. Anyway, I'm rambling now. So what I'll do is I will go. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. And you will see me next Tuesday for another TA Tuesday. Of course, here at Ainsley's Gold Silver Standard Insights. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as we say here at the end, balance your wealth in an unbalanced world. Take care. We'll speak to you next time.